Oh, Portland. It's not going to look great up there, guys. And speaking of the heat, we're bringing in one of your colleagues right now, Katie Blake with a Climate Minute. Katie? Yes, good morning, guys. Nothing gets me fired up on a Friday like some, some Spurs basketball, Bruce, and a Climate Minute. Yeah, there winning go. duo here. So like Justin was saying, big ridge, very strong ridge of high pressure over the Pacific Northwest sets them up for an unprecedented heat event this weekend and even into early next week. And I don't use the word unprecedented lightly. In fact, the National Weather Service in Portland put out this tweet yesterday and they said, quote, our upcoming extreme heat wave this weekend is expected to break several daily, monthly, and possibly all-time records. This is an unprecedented event. Have a plan in place to remain cool. They're using some language for this heat that we use for severe weather. We always tell you to have a severe weather plan, so that's what's going on there. High temperatures all the way from southern Oregon up into northern Washington will approach and exceed 100 degrees Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And while it might be obvious that this part of the country doesn't normally get this hot, just how odd is this kind of heat there? Well, this time of year, Portland's average high is around 76 degrees, while Seattle's average high is around 74. Both locations this weekend into Monday next week will be 25 to even 40 degrees hotter than that. And what's more, according to the Seattle Times back in 2018, just 34% of Seattle homes had AC. 34% had AC. This is just due to the area's overall cooler and wetter climate. And while the extreme heat will back off after a few days, these types of heat waves are expected to become more frequent in the future as a result of climate change. And there is evidence of this. So this graphic here is from Climate Central, and this is for the Seattle Tacoma area. And it illustrates how Seattle has tacked on eight more hot days in the period from 1970 to 2020. Now their threshold for hot is 85 degrees or higher. For comparison, ours is 100 degrees or higher because we just have an overall hotter climate here in South Texas. And I know eight days over 30 years might not seem like a lot, but it only takes one heat event, like what they're gonna deal with this weekend to affect vulnerable populations in an area like the Pacific Northwest that is not well equipped to deal with it. Just remember that lack of AC in a lot of homes there. Before I leave you, let's take a look at how our hot days here in San Antonio have changed over the last 30 years. We have tacked on 25 more hot days or days over 100 degrees in the last 30 years. To wrap this all up with a nice bow, essentially extremes in temperatures like what they'll see in the Pacific Northwest this weekend will start to happen more often, slowly becoming less extreme and more Average. So that is today's Climate Minute, timely considering that big time heat up in the Pacific Northwest, yeah, guys. No doubt about that. Of course, it's Friday, so I'm looking forward to another rooftop weather segment. We're going to change out of the long sleeves and head up to the roof this afternoon. All right, good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Thanks. Have a good weekend, Katie.